Here's the engine one more time, uh, running on a hot surface yet. Uh, balanced it a little better, did a couple things to better the seal. It just is not improving in its performance or rate of run. So I'm going to build a candle stand type apparatus for it to have a direct heating of the bottom. And also I'll try a piston configuration as well for the top again. Here's a few shots of the piston and stand construction. Add a little stability. I've made a little board. It's really just going to slide down on top of these nails sticking through. So, so they're going to slide easier than others. That could pose a problem on that one. These all seem like they're going to slide fine. Not a little bit, but first, I'll start warming up. Okay. I was unable to get the stand or get it working with my my nested tube piston. It just isn't generating enough force to work with something other than a bellow. The bellows have worked in situations where our piston just it just didn't uh, the engines didn't seem to generate enough force for the piston. This should have worked, but I tried to get a little more speed by putting a second candle under it. A little bit. With the benefit of this, of course, is when it's sitting on a hot surface, the whole engine is heating up and just kind of baking the heck out of uh, the wood pieces. Where this is much more targeted, seems to work a little better. Clean really is starting to go a little faster. Also, it doesn't seem to dissipate heat very well. I couldn't get it to run without the ice on top. It's my counterweight. It's kind of drilled holes in until it uh, was just the right weight. I have these strange fuel cells, or um, combustible fuel for a um, steam engine I have, so I thought I'd try that. I'm just going to set it on that to... So i would try these to see how it runs. spin. Here it is with some ice. 
and uh, running on these Esbit things. It's about as fast as you're going to go. Once again, thanks for watching.